Hello! This video is on voice and accent and there are two major accents British accent and US accent. There is Australian accent but it is spoken in Australia alone. However, you will find British and US accent most part of the world it's spoken. Okay? Now, there is another accent that's global accent which is also known as neutral accent. Neutral accent is uh, speaking uh, in a language where there's no regionalism. That means it is spoken without any regional accent. Okay, it doesn't belong to any region. So British English doesn't have any neutral accent. Their English is perceived or known as Queen's English or BBC English. But of course, Americans do have neutral accent, okay? That's called the general American. They do speak in accentless way, like the reporters, actors, you know, where you can't determine which region or area they belong to. So they follow that general American English. Um, and now you must be having a very interesting question in your mind, like which accent should I speak? UK accent or US accent? So I would tell you that it's your choice and your comfort, okay? Uh, for me, what I do is I speak certain words in UK accent and certain words in US accent because I feel I'm comfortable, uh, comfortable with this particular word in UK accent and these words US accent. So it's your choice, your comfort. And the next thing is, it also depends on your professional preferences. If you have a client that is UK client, then you can definitely master UK accent. If you have a US client, then you can master US accent. And for me, I prefer both the accents, uh, depending on the words that I'm using and my comfort and choices and everything. So you can do the same, you know, it just it's just smooth. You know, you don't have to struggle so much. I am so excited to do the list of words in this video. I'll be saying the words in UK accent first and then in US accent. And yes, there are a few words that sound the same in both the accents. Okay, so let's start with those words. So the first word is... How do you pronounce this word? We say development. However, it is development. It's development. Okay. So in UK accent, there's a matter of, uh, you know, difference in the stress. In UK, they say development and in US, they stress the second syllable that is development. So it's development or development. Next word is behind. It's behind. We say behind. However, it's behind. Okay. Next word is How do you pronounce this word? Okay, so it is academic. Academic. The academic year of 2019. So it's academic. Okay. The next word is... How do you pronounce this word? We say vegetable. However, it's vegetable. Vegetable. So it's just veg and table vegetable okay and then the next word is my favorite I use it often and that word is absolutely 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 now the next word is ever in UK accent it is ever in US accent it is ever so in UK accent, you can hardly or barely hear the R sound. So it's ever. And in US accent, you will uh, roll your R. So it's ever. Next word is never. And in US accent, it is never. So you will apply the same rule here. Ever, ever, never, never, whenever, whenever, whenever whenever next word is however however and in u.s accent it is however however next is my favorite whatever whatever 
U.S. accent, whatever, whatever. Now the next word is often. So in U.K. accent it is often, and U.S. it is often. However, I used to say often, which is correct, but the rule says that the T sound is silent. For example, listen, yeah, we don't say listen. Okay, so when it is F-T-E-N and S-T-E-N, you have to use um, listen and not listen and often, not often. Okay, so the T is silent over here. The next word is, how do you pronounce this word? This is a little tricky one. UK accent, you have to say comfortable, comfortable, comfortable. And in US, you will have to say comfortable. Okay, let me try it again. Comfortable. Okay, it's comfortable. 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 Okay. Are you comfortable saying this word? <laughs> okay. The next one is, um, let me see here in my list. Okay, it's vitamin. It's vitamin in UK. And vitamin in US accent so it's vitamin and vitamin okay next word is obviously this is UK and obviously is US obviously obviously UK obviously US next word is garage garage is UK and Garage is US. So it's little A sound here. Garage. Garage. Okay. Next is a very amusing word. How do you pronounce this? So it's almond in UK and almond in US. So whether you pronounce it with the L sound or without the L sound is correct. So it's almond in UK accent and almond in US accent. Next set of four words are very interesting. So this word, we say photograph. However, it is said photograph, photograph in UK. Photograph in UK and photograph in US. It's photograph and photograph. The next word is photographic, photographic. So it is to, okay, photographic. And in US, it is photographic. Photo, so it's the sound here. Photographic. Now, this word is a little tricky. We say photographer. However, it is photographer. Photographer in UK. And uh, in US, it is photographer. So it is a sound here. Photographer. 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 And the next word is photography photography and photography 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 i hope this video is helpful to you people in my next upcoming videos i'll be sharing you more information on vowel sounds and consonant sounds stay tuned please like and share my videos and subscribe to my channel till then take care bye bye